Thank you, Madam President, dear colleagues. One of the greatest challenges facing Europe is the issue of depopulation and its consequences. On our continent, the number of the indigenous inhabitants is in constant decline. Despite the fact that we live on one of the richest continents in the world, there are not enough children being born anywhere to maintain or increase the population. The globalists say that in Europe we must replace the children who are not born with migrants. But by doing so, we are losing our national identity and marginalizing our own culture, not to mention the social tensions that we are already seeing in countries that rely on immigration. This is not the path the vast majority of Hungarian people want to take. We believe that supporting families, protecting our homeland and our culture is the way to go in the 21st century. But we cannot imagine opposing immigration without finding solutions to the challenges of depopulation. This is the true meaning of sustainability. Unfortunately, the situation is difficult as the family is under increasing ideological attack from LGBTQ propaganda to the hair-raising theory of conscious childlessness. All of this in itself has a destructive effect. My political community, our homeland movement, opposes all of these harmful ideologies. It fights against illegal migration. It promotes zero tolerance in this matter. Above all, it does everything to help Hungarian families. So we say that Hungary belongs to the Hungarians. Thank you for your attention. But now it's up to Christian Klink. Right. Um, dear colleagues, thank you so much all for this so far very good debate. It's a great honor to address you all. May I start with pointing out to the esteemed colleague Dora Duro that without migrants in Ireland, the whole conference couldn't even have started. E vorrei tranquillizzare la collega eh, ungherese che quello che sto suggerendo non è rimpiazzare i bambini non nati con i migranti, ma piuttosto valutare il fenomeno migratorio nella sua complessità senza seccati ideologici. Die Kollegin aus Ungarn hat eben von LGBTQ Propaganda als destruktive Kraft und die Gefahr für das Familienbild gesprochen. Ich finde, das soll in diesem Haus definitiv nicht common sense sein, es soll nicht als normal gelten, wenn man so etwas ausspricht. Dieser fragwürdige Diskurs mag vielleicht in Ungarn akzeptabel sein, aber wir sind hier Mitglieder einer internationalen Organisation mit einem ganz klaren Bekenntnis zu, äh, zu Menschenrechten und Rechtsstaatlichkeit, wo Menschenrechte hochgehalten werden, wo Menschenrechte gewahrt werden und ausgebaut werden sollen. Dass Ungarn hier einen Schritt zurück macht, ist bedenklich. Und es ist nicht nur Ungarn, es ist genauso in Georgien heute etwas passiert, unterschrieben worden. Das soll uns zu denken geben. Und ähm, finde ich, sollen diese Kommentare hier nichts verloren haben, auch, sollte man auch der Frau Kollegin sagen. Jeder und jeden in der OSZD-Region sollte freistehen zu leben und zu lieben, wenn man will, egal ob es illiberalen Kräfte äh, passen oder nicht.